What's going on guys? Stevie from The Minimasters Masters here and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cold air intake using stock Ford parts I found in a junkyard. So here's my five liter V8 from Ford and it has this particular intake. So it has this kind of intake tube goes down, goes through the filter box and in. And as you can tell, it's not the most direct way to get cold air from outside, inside. And the reason for that is because it has to make it past your hood and your grill. So it has to get up through here, which is normally really narrow when I fully close the hood. And into this intake, it's gotta change direction, travel down, and then hit your box and go straight in, okay? Granted, it is closer to your cold air source, but it can be better. So how do we solve this? So first, we're gonna remove it. So we just pinch and pull it out. And as you see, there's a tab here and on the other end. So it comes right out, okay? And then you're gonna to go to a junkyard and you're gonna pick one of these up, okay? This is the intake tube from the 460 big block. And you can also get this from the 4.9 liter, which is where I got this particular one. Why is this better? It's straighter. Okay, number one thing, it's straighter. Number two is where the inlet is located. So as you can tell by its straightness, it comes out, goes straight through your core support, right through that hole right here and finishes right there. And as you can see, that's on the very outside of your engine bay, okay? We've gotten through the core support, we've gotten past the radiator, we're literally right here grabbing all this fresh cold air, especially as you're driving. So let's get started. So from the factory, this intake tube has this kind of turn in it, okay? So that the air doesn't quite go in directly, okay? It has to go in through the side, then change a little bit of direction. So we don't want that. So you'll wanna cut it right where I had this line and trim it back, okay? You don't wanna trim it back too far because it has to poke through your core support, right? If you trim it too far back, it will be on the other side of the core support and it'll just wobble around. So you want it to be able to stick past so it will hold it there. So right where I have this line is about where you'll wanna cut it. So here's the intake tube. And as you can see, I trimmed the front off and you can just tell already how straight it is because you can see daylight at the end, okay? So really straightforward from here, you're gonna take it and you're actually gonna have it upside down and you're gonna wanna slip it underneath this air conditioning hose right here. So I have it upside down. And then once you get it there, you'll actually start to rotate it, okay? And as you can see, it starts to slip under the pipe and move forward, okay? And you'll have it for right about here, okay? And then you'll see it's starting to line up right here. So mostly what you're doing at this point is trying to work it forward right there. So as you can see, we're, we're right there where the uh, core support is. So back up top, you'll just have to line it up and clip it right in. And just like that, you have an awesome cold air intake like none other. Just look at that. The air is just gonna go straight in, right through the box and into the engine. And guess what? It didn't cost you 300 plus dollars. And that's the best part about this, okay? I went to a junkyard and I'm pretty sure the guy probably would have given it to me for free because it's just a load of plastic to him. You know, they're only interested in some of the hard parts. So there you have it, guys. That's how you guys can make a cold air intake for your engine without having to spend a boatload of money and it actually works. So that's all for me, guys. Hit the subscribe icon over here. Check out some of my other videos. I'm Stevie from the Minute Masters. Thanks for watching.